when you get a fraction plus or minus another fraction, step one, get a common denominator. So the common denominator is just going to be this and this. So our LCD is going to be 1 minus sine x and 1 plus sine x. So what that means is that we are going to multiply this one with 1 plus sine x and this one with 1 minus sine x. Oh, by the way, we should be working on the, we should tell the teacher that we're going to work on the left hand side. And so that's going to give us sine x multiplied by 1 plus sine x over 1 minus sine x, 1 plus sine x, plus sine x multiplied by 1 minus sine x over 1 plus sine x multiplied by 1 minus sine x. Okay, so there we go. So now the denominators are the same, and so we can leave it like that. And then at the top, we're going to be left with sine x plus sine squared x plus sine x minus sine squared x. You see what I did? The denominators are the same, so we can put everything together over one denominator, and I just multiplied out the brackets. And then what happens is that these two are going to cancel out. So at the top, we're just going to be left with 2 sin x, because sin x plus sin x is 2 sin x. And then at the bottom, we're going to be left with this. Okay, so it's a bit weird, because it might seem a bit challenging on like where we're going to go from here, because we're trying to get this. We're trying to get 2 sin x over cos squared x. So we already have the top part sorted. So what we can do, I can sort of see something happening here. We're going to multiply the bottom out. Normally we don't really do that, but it's going to work out in this one. So you've got 2 sin x. Then at the bottom you're going to have 1 plus sin x minus sin x minus sin squared x. Right, I just multiplied the two brackets out. And so what happens is that these are going to cancel. And so we're going to end up with 2 sin x over 1 minus sine squared x. Now from grade 11 we know that sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So if we're to get the cos squared x by itself it would be equal to that. See I took this over. Now look at the bottom here. That's exactly what we have here. So we can replace the bottom with cos squared x and then therefore left hand side is equal to right hand side.